My name's Mike Jean, and of course, this is my workshop. Ah, today's uh, amazing guitar, if I do say so myself. Fantastic guitar. Um, combines two of uh, my most favorite guitars in the world. Um, I really love uh, uh, the Gretsch Jupiter Billy Bow style, and I really love the Tele. <coughs> so this is sort of what would happen if you left those two guitars um, locked up in the barn for about six months. You would have yourself a Barnwood Mike G Customs Skylark Telebow. That's right, it's a Telebow. Um, <laughs> sometimes I crack myself up. Anyways, this particular one features um, uh, some of our 125 year old hemlock. It is a one piece body. We retained the face um, and then of course we fabricated the body. We saved as much of the back as we could. The darkness here is uh, some of the 125 year old exposed part. You see we left in the nail holes uh, and that it definitely adds character. Right here you can see where a nail must have went through about right there. Um, <coughs> um, uh, for those of you who don't know, Hemlock is part of the Pine family. This guitar weighs, uh, off the top of my head, I want to say it weighs seven and a half pounds. Um, so it's fairly light. As you can see, it's well balanced. Uh, this style of body, and, and, and let me, let's address that real quick. Um, our Skylark is based upon uh, the Jupiter. Um, differences are a little bit is a little bit cut, a little different here, and of course this is rounded. That's because uh, we're probably never going to put a Bigsby on here, um, and if we do, it's going to be a horseshoe. So there it is. But we also wanted to make it our own because of this curve right here in the wing, um, reminding me of uh, you know the late 50s or um, early uh, Skylark. So that's why it's called the Skylark. <coughs> Lesson, pl <laughs> lesson for the day. Um, that said, um, this body, like I said, um, um, it's a, uh, um, it's a, it, hemlock is part of the pine family. It has a real um, earthy tone to it. Adds a lot of bottom end, a lot of acoustic. In fact, let me turn the, the amp off here. Now I don't know if you could hear that as well as I could hear it because. Well, I have a cheap camera here, but <coughs> um, it resonates really, really well. Um, and again, it's light and easy on the back, uh, which is really important to those of us who play, um, you know, corporate stuff and all that. Um, we uh, we used a uh, Telecaster uh, bridge plate here. We've got a uh, <coughs> um, we've got an Alnico V um, um, bridge pickup here. We've got a GFS. Um, um, Neovin, which is actually it's a stacked um, pickup, so it's it's noiseless um, and um, sounds quite glorious, which I'll show you here in a minute. Down here we've got um, uh, full size pots. Uh, we've got uh, vintage style um, uh, uh, amp, uh, vintage style radio knobs, Fender three way switch on here. <coughs> Down back there we've got a uh, Les Paul style output jack on it. Up here we've got a licensed maple maple neck, um, or not maple maple, maple rosewood neck with the pearl eye dots. It does feature the uh, Mike G Customs uh, headstock shape. Um, and to keep everything in tune we put uh, um, Grover uh, uh, Mini Rotomatics on here. So, so we've got some really great parts on here um, which is befitting of a really great guitar. The neck is finished in nitro. Um, we did a, um, a light stain on the back here. Um, then we uh, put a little ebony rub in it to get the uh, grain to pop, and then we did um, satin lacquer over the whole thing. It does not have a heavy um, finish on it. Uh, we wanted to retain its rustic look. All right, so now down to down to the moment where everybody's um, everybody's been waiting for. What does it sound like? Well, today, <coughs> as always, we're going to be playing through our Crate GTD 15R amp. It is a solid state amp, and if you think it sounds all right through your computer speakers, imagine how great it's going to sound this guitar through a tube combo amp or a tube half stack. That's right. Blow my mind. Anyway, so uh, I got a little bit of reverb on um, and um, 
um, what else is it going to do? I don't know. We're going to do what we normally do. We start out the bridge, go to the neck, do the neck and the bridge together, come back down to the bridge. You're going to add a little bit of gain. going to do them both again. Then I'm going to add a bunch of overdrive. And uh, then we're going to come back and we'll play a little bit of clean and then we'll be done. And I will tell you such things as if you uh, want a guitar built just like this because this one is sold, you can call me here at the shop, 602-769-1131. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. So here we go. Clean bridge. <laughs> That was horrible! <laughs> copyright issues. All right, so we're back down to the bridge because this is going to bring the gate up to about 77.5%.
Mike G Customs Barnwood Series Televo. Um, she's fantastic uh, on the eyes, fantastic on the ears, and uh, I'm sure that if I built one. For